Natalie, you bring star power to the projects that are being undertaken by the foundation. How important do you think that is? Oh gosh, I wish it wasn't so important, but it is. It, it's just the nature of the beast. When you are in a position to be highly visible, you are also in a position to be highly influential. Uh, your credibility is at stake here, and I have been blessed to have some very strong credibility. I don't get involved in a lot of charities or public um, commitments like uh, these, but this one was particularly important to me, and I knew that we would be able to bring you know, some attention to that with what, whatever I could possibly do. I just would like to, you know, I'm so glad to be a part of something that's really positive, that I think that we can really make a change. Um, it's not as, the money that we're asking to build these units and these, this hospital on wheels is not half as much money as, let's say, I'm involved also in raising money for ovarian cancer. Millions and millions and millions of dollars have been raised for ovarian cancer. And what we're asking for, for this country, for Afghanistan, is a, a drop in the bucket compared to what some of these charities in the United States can bring. So, you know, we're on a mission. We're definitely on a mission. And, and, and for the security of our uh, United States, it's so important that we support that country so it becomes self-sufficient. Yes. Because that is a, a, a country we cannot ignore. It really hurts us back home. And the world can't afford that Afghanistan becomes what it was before. I think the main reason that uh, we were thinking it's going to be okay in Afghanistan the first time around is because mm -hmm. it was after mm -hmm. the Cold War mm -hmm. and everybody thought, okay, the world is going to be uh, fine and comfortable and, you know, there is no more enemy. We did not know after 9-11 we found out that there is a whole other kind of enemy exactly. in the uh, exactly. horizon. And, and these people are very vulnerable, Yes, which is why yes. they're, they are fighting. People are, uh, the different factions are fighting over this country because they know that there is a potential there, but they want to suppress these people and basically destroy them so that they can take it over yeah. and we just can't afford to let that happen and 28 well, years of war Afghanistan yeah. has been paying 20 years of war mm -hmm. and this country is so exhausted in yeah. every way shape Absolutely. or form yeah. when you go to the country you still see hope and you see the beauty of the people but my god you see the exha exhaustion in their faces yeah. like yeah. enough already and we really, uh, uh, to me, it's my country, of course, I love it and I want the whole world to help it, but it's more for the security of the world. We have to yeah. save Afghanistan. Well, and Sonia, I, I don't know if you're aware. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Natalie, you were gonna say sorry, something. I was just saying, I, I don't know if you're aware of also um, that uh, just recently um, the um, uh, Steven Spielberg and his company allowed uh, Sonia to uh, uh, show the breadwinner at a screening of The Kite Runner, which is the new film that's coming out uh, any day now, uh, which is also a film that's uh, filmed all in Afghanistan with an all-Afghanistan cast before the Russian Revolution, before when it was a wonderful country that was blooming and, and great things were happening and the people were happy and stable. Uh, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful film, but we also felt there was no coincidence that this film should be coming out now when we're trying to yeah, exactly. do what we're doing. So we're, we were very excited about that as well. All right, thank you thank very you much so, for being so with much. us. All right, thank you. Thank you. Now don't forget, if you have any thoughts about pressing issues around the world, send your emails to riz at aljazeera.net. See you next time. Street Talk is next.